Welcome everybody to another episode today on the Startup Show. I'm very excited to welcome Malik from modum.io. Welcome on the show. Hi, it's Cedric. Nice meeting you. Nice being on the show. Welcome everybody to another episode today. I'm excited to welcome here Malik. Um, just, I would like to give you a few minutes to introduce yourself. Hi guys, hi Cedric, nice to be on the show here. Uh, I'm Malik Elbay, I'm CEO of Modum Io, which is this awesome startup uh, that I'm working on. What we basically do is we combine these uh, little sensors with blockchain technology and we use them to make the supply chain in pharma more safe and more efficient. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about more of your background. Did you, uh, where did you grow up? What did you study? Where did you work? <laughs> so uh, I was born in, in Bern, uh, studied at ETH here in Zurich, interdisciplinary sciences, mm -hmm. uh, started working in pharma, then realized, okay, first of all, pharma is nothing for me, and second of all, laboratories are nothing for me. <laughs> Fast forward five years, we uh, founded two product-focused startups, and uh, we were coming back from Berlin to, to Zurich, and there is this guy that asks me, hey, do you want to build a product for the pharma industry? And so it was something like coming back to my home turf with like a lot of new experiences I made mm -hmm. along the way, and this is why I said, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, what was this moment where you decided, like, startup is the right path for me and not going into a big corporation? So that was an iterative process. Uh, I said after my studies, I realized, okay, laboratories are nothing yeah. for me. Uh, I worked for some big pharma companies. I worked for a research institution. And this, it's never not down your alley. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then I ended up in, in Berlin with this small startup uh, called Upload, now Fit Analytics. And this is where I realized, okay, this is it. This is like running experiments really close to the market, getting instant feedback, moving quickly, have a small team of dedicated people where you can do one day A and the next day you're doing B because it's not like in a big corporation where uh, a thousand people need to sign off and tell you, okay, it's all right that you did this change or that you um, are doing something right. new. So tell us a little bit more into detail what your company does, please. Uh, yeah, thank you. So uh, I said pharma supply chain, yeah. pharma logistics. Uh, we are at the point where a drug leaves the factory, gets uh, shipped to a wholesaler, which again does this time for time, like uh, precise distribution, I would mm -hmm. say, towards all the pharmacies, hospitals, and doctors. There's a regulation since January 1st that these ways need to be temperature monitored and all of them, before it was just the products that were temperature sensitive, you had a, a, an obligation to tell people or tell the regulatory boards that it was within a, a range. And now this is for all shipments of all products. And what we basically do is that uh, instead of for an aspirin, which can be held at 30 degrees for a couple of hours and at 2 degrees for couple of hours instead of uh, using a cold chain truck for that you use one of our devices yeah at the beginning you connect it with the package you say this device belongs to this package of aspirin this is made um, written in the blockchain there's a contract then it gets shipped throughout Switzerland the receiver accepts the package has to do that anyway um, at that moment all temperature data is read out, fed into the contract that was set up before, and this one says, okay, you can keep using this product, or there's an out of specification, you have to do something about it, or even tell you, hey, it was held at 40 degrees for four hours, you can't use this product anymore. Tell me, um, you, you're basically the first uh, blockchain startup on, on the show here, so maybe you can give us a short introduction, uh, 101 on blockchain. Blockchain is basically a distributed ledger, 
distributed database and mm -hmm. imagine it like blockchain is a chain of blocks mm -hmm. there's just one chain of it and now the two components are so you have a decentralized systems so you have a couple of hundreds to a couple of thousand nodes that are working in this system and everyone has the copy of this chain mm -hmm. of blocks so let's say two of these nodes they have no power anymore but the whole system will keep working. So there's no single point of failure. Okay. There's one part of it. And now you're decentralized. It means that every node can write a new block to this chain and mm -hmm. to uh, make sure that there is no double blocks and no double chains. There is a little system in place where people are solving math problems. This is called mining. I mean, yeah. we can go into detail, but I think it's <laughs> but like basically you can't. I think if I remember correctly, you can't change anything that once it's in the blockchain. Yeah, exactly. You can imagine it like that. I don't know if you can see this. So uh, the blockchain is a chain of blocks. Once this block is not the end anymore, mm -hmm. you can't change anything in here because you would change the next block and the next and right. the next and the next as well. But since they are already mined, so you can. Uh, yeah, once it's written in one block and this block is not the last one anymore, it can't ever be changed. Right. So, um, as a last question, I would like to know, um, you know, you started another program at Kickstarter Accelerator. Yep. Tell us one tip you can give to my audience about being an entrepreneur here at the, the Accelerator. Or a general tip about being a, being a, <laughs> being a startup. What, what, uh, what would you recommend to know before? I think enjoy every day it's a, because it's a hell of a ride. Like some days are crazy and the other days are like just crazy. By okay, you get so much new insights. Another day is, is crazy in the sense of okay, I don't know. You found a competitor who's doing exactly what you're doing and you're <laughs> down, down to earth. So enjoy that. And towards the program, just use the resources. We're very lucky here at Kickstart Accelerator to have a lot of um, powerful people in the network that can and want to help. So make use of this. this is very good. Good. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for being on the startup show and giving us some insights into blockchain and pharma industry. And uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Cheers. Thank you very much. Say good.